kind of hung our heads and, and gave in, but we definitely did not do that. And uh, I thought Siggy, uh, in the second half, we kind of rode her back for a while, and uh, she did it, and it was really great to see. Um, Tanisha had a great, I don't know if they were both in over, they were in overtime, the and one, um, that fouled Bain Walker out, and then that three-pointer was just huge. So I thought we got a lot of good minutes from a lot of people, and I was just really proud of the girls for the win. It's a strange game. You're up by 12 in the first half, and they scored 10 straight, and then it just became a battle. You know, they were up by four in the fourth, you were up by four mm -hmm. late in the game, and you both were, you know, rallied. Yeah, um, you know, they they provide a tough matchup for us. You know, they have guards that like to put their head down and get into the paint, and uh, that's one thing we, we keep working on and keep continuing. Uh, but, uh, Bain Walker's a good player, you know, and uh, Wingate had a great game. She's a good player too. So, but I, but I was proud of our kids. You know, they even though you know it, it could have been a frustrating game at times, they they held on to it, and it's a great win for us. So. Stony Brook, I mean, they got 22 points in the first half. They scored 49 between the third, fourth, and the overtime. Were they doing anything different other than just? the effort they were doing? Yeah, I mean, they were just putting their heads down and going, you yeah. know, and uh, they weren't running anything differently. I think they just, their coaches told them to put your heads down and go. And uh, they did, and they got to the foul line a lot. Um, it's something we have to look at the tape, and we got to be better at it, you know. But um, that's for maybe tomorrow. <laughs> we can enjoy I mean, enjoy when you tell win. the kids, I mean, like, yeah. Bane Walker's driving the lane, and she's... Yeah. You know, she's jumping into the defender and creating yeah. contact. It's like, yeah, what it's, can you do? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, Tanisha, you, you came up big. I mean, uh, again, you get the two foul shots, and Bane Walker fouls out, and then uh, you hit that three. I think Siggy gave you the ball for the three. I mean, uh, what, was, what was the thought process going into overtime? I mean, it was like, uh, well, we, it was basically like 0-0 zero, zero again, and we had to pull out the win. Um, and I think Cher, she really gave us like that good energy, you know, especially going into overtime too. So, you know, just feeding off of that and it was like we had to get that win. So. The three-pointer that uh, Siggy handed off to you and, you know, they're pretty much wide open. Yeah, I didn't think about that one. I just shot it in, and when it went in, which I was is, like, yes! <laughs> like, <laughs> which is good. When Cisha doesn't think, she's good when yeah. <laughs> she thinks about it. Or, and a credit, you, you, she's, Tanisha's right, Cher gave, played really big minutes for us. Um, really happy with how she played. Um, and Tanisha, you know, it's funny because people may look at Tanisha and say she's a driver, she's a driver. She's worked really hard on her three-point shot, and she's a very good three-point shooter. I think she's leading our team with percentage right now for threes. So, um, you know, that doesn't surprise me that she made that shot, and Siggy did a great job finding her. So. Siggy, what did you see there? And, and uh, the guy you go on in the fourth. I mean, you, you only had five points through three quarters, and it seemed like any time you wanted to get to the basket in the fourth and overtime, you just did it. Yeah, I think a lot of it is um, the plays we ran that really gave me that open lane. And yeah, I was just there a lot of times. And then on the other side, I had a shooter in the corner. So even if I couldn't couldn't finish, that would have been somebody else open. What was the game like for you, Siggy? I mean, it was, again, it was just a, a, like, a, like we're talking to Coach, you know, you got a comfortable lead early, they come back, you know, uh, Bane Walker was penetrating, Wingate was penetrating, and you guys were fouling a lot. They were getting second, they, they, were, they were crashing the boards pretty effectively, too. But you guys, again, didn't lose your composure. I mean, it's, uh, what, uh, what did you feel in, in the fourth quarter? What was the thought process? You scored 12 straight points for your team at one point. Did you feel <laughs> you, you needed to take it over there? Yeah. Um, especially towards the end of the game, like when it's a close game. Um, that I really got to step up and make shots and, or at least be aggressive and find somebody else that's open, like Tanisha for that one shot. How good a win is this for you? I mean, this is, this, I mean, you pretty much had comfortable wins for the most part at home with this. You guys really had to work for this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> really had to work. Yeah. <laughs> Good to get a win like this, you know, to be pressed like this. Yeah, I mean, it's always good to, good to get a win. Um, I think our crowd was really good and involved today. Um, it was a great turnout. I wasn't expecting that. Um, <laughs> a day when we were expecting a 26 inches of snow. 
hopefully they can get the same crowd down in Portland when you guys are down there. So that would be nice. So mm -hmm. yeah. You guys down by four in the fourth quarter, did you, again, what did you do to overcome that and, and again, get back, take the lead? That's <laughs> what you ask. <laughs> yeah, I think Siggy, yeah. I don't really remember. Siggy was being really aggressive and we needed that. Yeah. We needed that? Yeah, we needed that and it was good. Yeah, Siggy, she happened. really did. She, um, we were down four and you got an and one. Yeah. Layup oh. and a foul. She she took she took the game over, you know, and and it was good to see. You know, we asked her what what do you want to run, and she knew what she knew what she wanted to run. She knew where she could get, and uh, they uh, we ran the same play <laughs> over, over and over and over, and over again <laughs> there at the end. But they, Siggy was making good plays, you know, getting layups or finding shooters, and um, there was no reason to change it if it's working. So uh, that's what we did. We kind of knew that lady, that possession by possession, like. You guys would have the ball, and I'm like, yep, this is going to be the whole I know it's going to be, yeah. especially at the end of regulation. Yeah, yeah and, and I, I told Siggy, you know, mm -hmm. the end of regulation when she got that layup, like, yeah, it would have been great if it went in, but I I have no problem that it didn't go in because of the aggressive mindset. She was going to the basket and to score, and and it followed, you know, in, in overtime. And when Siggy's playing like that, the rest of the team feeds off of it, you know, and, and – we can be a, a good, a really good team when that happens. So. How important to you was it when uh, Bane Walker fouled out in overtime? Uh, we know she's a huge key for them, especially offensively. So getting her out of the game with five fouls, um, put another guard that's probably not used to playing a one guard that much in that position. Anything else? Nope. No. Okay. Thank you very much. Guys, be safe. Appreciate it. Yeah. Stay warm, guys. Yeah. He's got the text.